You may think that being vegan is the right thing to do, that it's compassionate and responsible, good for the environment, your own health, and of course the animals. But did you also know that veganism is metal as f Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan and welcome to another Vegan Nugget. As some of you may know, I was recently in Orlando, Florida and had the pleasure of meeting up with two awesome vegan YouTubers, Tino from the channels Bananiac and Symposium Films and Brian the Vegan Black Metal Chef. Two weeks ago, I brought you my interview with Tino and his corresponding interview with me on his channel. And today, I'm excited to share with you my interview with the dark lord of YouTube himself, the vegan black metal chef. You may be familiar with him in his more metally incarnation, but today we get to take a look behind the faux leather and vegan makeup to hear from the man behind the metal chef. Vegan black metal chef. All right, so I'm here today with Brian, the vegan black metal chef who you might know from YouTube fame on his channel. Um, and we're just gonna talk a little bit about his story. Um, so thank you so much for coming here. Thanks for having me. Um, and so yeah, I would like, can you just talk a little bit about like, what made you go vegan and what that process was like for you starting out? Sure, well, I think I have pretty much the most typical why I went vegan story in all of existence. Uh, in high school, late high school, uh, I had a girlfriend at the time that went vegetarian, and uh, and at that time I said, you know what, I see that as the right way to go, but I'm not ready for that yet. So I didn't I didn't go vegetarian or vegan or anything. Then in my first year of college, I looked back a year later and I said, wow, well she didn't die, and uh, and I said, well if she didn't die, then uh, then and I realize it's the right way to go, then really what am I so afraid of? And I really recognize that as a fear within myself. And uh, I couldn't live with just this low level fear that uh, wasn't a fear for my life or wasn't a fear for anything, it was a fear of not eating meat and uh, a fear of the social conditioning around it. So I just kind of faced that fear and uh, went vegetarian for about, I think, two or three months and then uh, I attended an animal rights group uh, at the University of Florida where I was going at the time called Animal Activists of Alachua and uh, and saw a few videos and went vegan. So can you talk a little bit about the development of your channel like how did you come to this idea of like all right I'm gonna make a cooking show that is like a black metal show at the same time? Yeah absolutely well at the the time is a uh, three plus years ago, a little bit more than three years ago uh, when the channel first started mm -hmm. and I said well I, I, I've been now vegan for about 14 or so years and at that time I've been vegan for about 11 or so years and I said well I've been vegan for a decent amount of time uh, I think my meals taste awesome they're not very difficult to make and they're really cheap mm -hmm. and so it's everything that people think veganism isn't so I said the world needs to know about this in some way but thought about doing a regular cooking show but they really kind of put me to sleep mm -hmm. so I really just kind of combined my passions for making music and black metal music in particular mm -hmm. and uh, and with the vegan cooking and really just made the cooking show I wanted to see and uh, luckily a few other people wanted to see it too so I think it's an interesting marriage between like vegan cooking and black metal what would, would you say it's kind of a weird question but would you say that veganism is metal and if so I don't know, like, do you feel like they, they converge really well together? <laughs> well, I think veganism is metal as fuck, but <laughs> uh, do they really ultimately have anything to do with each other? I mean, I guess you could have some uh, some sparse connections, but uh, ultimately I don't think, I don't think they uh, necessarily have uh, the, especially like the, the black metal music in particular, doesn't necessarily have anything to do directly with veganism, it's just, uh, just, just the music that I like and the show that I want to see. Veganism is metal as fuck. Okay, that's good, glad we got that. As noted by many other metal musicians and uh, uh, out there already that, that are vegan and, and or vegetarian. Really, can you like name some of them? Uh, well, actually, uh, just in Revolver Magazine uh, recently, um, uh, Alisa White Glues, or it's either Alyssa or Alisa, I always get it wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and her boyfriend Doyle from the Misfits um, uh, did a whole section about health and, and, uh, and metal eating. And she, uh, she said that Doyle eats mostly vegan uh, when 
uh, and I chatted with her and uh, it's really cool to see the, the both of them and they both work out like crazy and of course uh, Doyle's like the biggest dude in existence. Angela Gossow, the previous singer of Arch Enemy, is also vegan. Okay. Uh, and there's a number of other ones here and there from uh, the guys from Creator to uh, Basis of Black Sabbath. A few others. If, if someone came to you and they were just trying to start out on their vegan path, um, what kind of guidance would you give someone to about how to become vegan and, and to stay that way? Yeah, absolutely. Well, actually, I wrote an entire article about this on my website, uh, veganblackmetalchef.com, uh, how to be vegan. Uh, it's just on the, along the little top menu bar there if you, if you go to the website. But basically, first and foremost, just start bringing consciousness to your actions. Uh, if you're not vegan currently and you're eating a non-vegan meal, just think about where the meal came from. I know a lot of people just go endlessly without ever thinking about these things. And if you want to become vegan, there can't be a struggle with being vegan. There's no struggle in my life with, oh, it's a restrict. It's not a restrictive diet. I haven't even tried all the vegan choices yet. Uh, there's so many incredible things to eat uh, there's there's no struggle there's no uh, um, cutting out it's really an exploration of what uh, plant-based choices you can you can find and and uh, and or make and so really just bringing consciousness uh, to the meal and bringing consciousness to your actions will make you think okay like uh, where did this come from or or how how is everything affected by by me eating this meal or really the main key on how to stay vegan and uh, how to stay vegan is it has to hurt more to eat the meal than it would to not well I wanted to thank you Brian so much for your time um, and do you want to tell people how to find you just uh, either just Google vegan black metal chef or vegan black metal chef .com or vegan black metal chef on YouTube. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Really Thank you, Emily. It. I don't know why I felt like the need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed hearing from the most metal vegan ever, and please share it around to show how hardcore veganism really is. Check out the links to the vegan black metal chef in the video description below. And if you missed it, be sure to check out my interview with Tino and his corresponding interview with me on his channel. Again, they may look like the exact same video, but we did them at the same time. But they're two different ones, I promise. If you're new here, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays. And for some awesome behind the scenes action in the most kick-ass vegan community ever, join us in the Nugget Army over on Patreon by clicking that logo right there or the link in the video description. Now go live vegan, Hail Satan, and I'll see you soon. Hail Satan.